Welcome back. So coming down to the mat, we're going to be working through this lovely little twisty balancing flow. Take the hands out in front of you for child's pose, taking those knees nice and wide. And we're just going to take a moment to ground down into the mat. Take a moment to breathe and really find some space into those hips and into the shoulders and the back. Deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, sigh the breath out. Inhale, and exhale. Continue with that breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Really allowing your body to settle down. And think about, as we inhale, opening and nourishing this body. And as we exhale, just releasing. We're gonna let go, this is our time on the mat, so we're gonna release and let go of any stress or anxiety or tension. Deep breaths in. And exhaling out. Inhale, draw the body up into tabletop. And from here we're going to take cat cow. So tucking the toes under, we're going to exhale as we draw the back up to the sky for cat. And then inhale, draw the chest forward. Exhale, rolling out the back, making sure we're tucking that pelvis under. And then inhale, draw the chest forward. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Come to that neutral position with the back and we're gonna sink the bum back and then draw the chest forward. So we're starting to move and open up into the knees, into the hips, into the shoulders. So really nice and flowy. Make this as gentle or as intense as you want to here. Exhaling as we draw back into the heels, inhaling as we draw the chest forward. Continue to do this, working with that breath. And then we're going to start to open up into the hips. So starting to move through into circles in one direction. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling and reversing the other direction. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. Good. Continue. Couple more rounds here. And then from here, press back into the toes, open out into down dog, making sure to pull the tummy muscles up and in, drawing the bottom up to the sky, maybe walking out the dog if that feels good. Inhale and exhale, grounding the hands down into the mat. And then take a few moments here before you wave the body forward into plank. Inhale, draw those tummy muscles in as we exhale for chaturanga. Inhale, come into cobra or up dog, whichever you have available to you. Exhale, back into down dog, inhaling. And exhale, see if you can ground deeper into this stretch. Now, by meaning that, don't start to arch the back. I want you to draw the tummy muscles up and in, pull the bottom up to the sky. Take the right foot forward, framing the foot. Inhale, reach your arms up tall. Take the right arm down by your side, reach up and over with the left arm finding that lovely side stretch. Inhale, reach your arms up tall, taking a little twisted lunge. Now to start, we're doing this kneeling. And I really want you to think about drawing the outside of the arm to the outside of the leg and really creating friction here. And then as we exhale, perhaps pushing out into the back leg for an extended twisted lunge. Now, if this is too much, just stay on your knees. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, sink the back knee down, unravel, take the hands down to the ground, framing the foot. And then from here, extend the back leg and we're going to just find a nice deep twisted lunge. So reaching that right arm up to the sky, take the right hand down inside the leg now and step the right foot back, coming into down dog. Inhale and exhale. Step the left foot forward, so repeating to the other side. We're going to inhale, reach your arms up tall, take the left arm down by the side, open up the side body, reaching over. Really lift up and out through the ribs, try not to just collapse. Then taking our twist to the other side, inhale. Looking up if that's an option, otherwise just looking straight ahead. Deep breath in, and we're going to exhale, pressing out into the back toes for that extended lunge, inhaling and exhaling well done deep breath in 
Exhale, sink the back knee down. Take the hands inside the foot, heel toe and the toes out, open into that nice low lizard lunge, inhaling, opening up twisted lunge. Exhale, take the hands back down, step the right foot to the outside of the hand into Malasana. So coming into that nice little yogi squat, inhale and exhale, really pressing the arms against the inside of the thighs, finding balance. Come into Uttanasana and then grabbing hold of the elbows, little monkey hold. So just swinging either side to side or you can just sit here, here. And also, if you are particularly tight in those hamstrings, just soften those knees. Take the left hand to the center, reaching the right arm up, finding a twist. Inhale, exhale, take the opposite side, left arm up, right arm grounded. Keep that back long, really open up the chest. Heel toe the feet back together, inhaling, and then take the fingertips or the hold of the hand underneath the foot. If you struggle with this as well, please just bend the knees a little bit more. Drop the head down, releasing into this lovely forward fold, inhaling and exhaling. Really feeling the ground beneath your feet and into your hands and connection, this circle of energy through the body. Inhale, draw the body back up, half lift. And you can take your hands to the shins or to the ground, whichever is most comfortable for you. Exhale, coming into forward fold, maybe taking the hands behind the calves, Uttanasana. Inhale. And exhale, draw that bottom up to the sky. Ground the hands down now. So we're going to take our left hand and right hand down and just going to extend the right leg out. So we're coming into a half lift supported warrior three. And now taking the left arm up, we're going to take our half moon. Okay, so revolved half moon here, right arm down, left leg back. And then from here, we're going to take our arms out to the side. So a little Shiva squat here. So we've got that right leg behind the left knee, opening the arms out, almost like aeroplane arms. Inhaling, take the hands to the heart center, press out into warrior three. So squeeze that bottom. Deep breath in, real bit of balance here. Exhale, sweep the leg forward, come to standing. Bring the arms up high to the sky, inhale. Exhale, take the hands down to the ground. So we're gonna repeat that again on the opposite side. Inhale, half lift, exhale, release the head. Inhale, coming into half lift, exhale. This time, we'll be taking that left arm out to the side, so we're finding some balance. So initially, take both hands to the ground, and this time we're going to take that left leg back, inhaling, and exhaling. Inhale, half lift. Reach the right arm up to the sky, revolved, half moon. Inhale. Exhale. If you need a block here, by the way, please do use a block under your hand. That's absolutely fine. Inhaling, and exhaling. Take that left leg now behind the right knee into a Shiva squat, taking the arms out into aeroplane arms. Inhale, draw those tummy muscles in. Exhale, great work. Inhale, hands to heart center, press their leg out into four warrior three. Inhaling, lengthen the body. That's what's gonna give you that strength. Inhale and exhale. Slowly, we're going to release that leg bringing it all the way back down, inhale, exhale, sweep up, arms up to the sky, inhale, and then exhale, forward fold Uttanasana, inhaling, and exhaling, inhale, rise, exhale, this time we're going to take the hands to the back foot, so you're taking your left hand to your right foot, and we're going to take the right arm out in front of us for dancer. Inhale, push the foot against the hand, inhaling. And exhaling. Now a little bit more strength and balance here. So from here, you're going to sink down like that little Shiva we did before. And now we're going to have half aeroplane arms. So taking the right arm out to the side, still holding onto that foot. Inhale. Exhale. Take that foot right out to the side now for dragon pose. Taking the left arm up to the sky, right legs behind you, inhale. And exhale, take the hands down to the ground. 
Take the feet together. Inhale, rise. Exhale. We're going to take that forward fold. Inhaling. And now grabbing hold of your right foot with your, uh, sorry, your left foot with your right hand. So deep breath in. Reach your arms forward, inhale, coming into dancer, inhaling, push that foot against the hand. You will find one side tends to be a little bit better than the other, and that's absolutely fine. And you're going to see me wobble. I want you to see that we aren't perfect, we do have our wobbles. So from here, we're going to take dancer and we're going to sink slowly down, coming into that little shiva. And then take the left arm out to the side, so take deep breath in, take a moment to breathe, inhale. And exhale, inhale, and take that leg down to the ground, take the right arm up to the sky, dragon, inhale, exhale, take the hands to the ground, take the feet together, inhale, jump back, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, rise, cobra or up dog, exhale, come into down dog, inhaling, right leg up to the sky exhale open up the hips bending that back leg inhaling and exhale take that right knee up into the chest using our abdominals here exhale inhale draw that knee up into the right elbow and exhale coming across to the left elbow exhale Take it out over to side plank. Inhale. And exhale. Extend the right arm up and over. Find the extended side plank. Inhale. Press those hips up. Exhale. Bring the arm back up to the sky. And then from here, you could take our star. Or you could take tree pose, whichever feels most comfortable. And then step the foot forward to the front of your mat. Inhale. Open for side angle. Inhaling. And exhaling, reach that right arm up and over, nice big stretch. And exhale, take that right arm behind you, taking our full bind. Now, if you don't have full bind, half bind, or staying in side angle is absolutely fine. Deep breath in. Exhale, ground down, take the hands down to the ground. And then from here, coming into Chaturanga, inhale, up dog or cobra, exhale, down dog. So taking that little flow. Let's open up the opposite side. So taking that left leg behind us, finding that lovely little stretch in the hips. Exhale, take the left knee to chest. Exhale, release. Inhale, left knee to left elbow. Exhale. Left knee to right elbow. Exhale. And into side plank. Inhale, open up the arms. Exhale, we're going to take that arm up and over, extended side plank. Inhale, exhale, arm back to the sky. Taking that foot back in for tree or into star, whichever option feels most comfortable for you. And then grabbing hold of the toes and sending them up to the front of the mat into a low lunge. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest up, cobra, out into our down dog. Inhaling, bend into the knees, jump to the front of your mat, coming to half lift, extending back out into forward fold. Inhale, ground down in the left hand, grabbing with your right hand, your right foot. Take that left hand ahead of you for sugar cane pose. Now, if this again is a little bit too much for you, that's absolutely fine. Just take the leg behind you and extend behind. Inhaling. And exhale. Take that right knee back in and let's switch sides. So grabbing hold of the left foot and we're going to press up and out. So you can either take it to the inside of the foot. So we're externally rotating the shoulder and opening up. Or if you find it easier just to grab the toes, that's fine as well. Inhale. And exhale. Take the foot back down, ground down, inhale, rise, reach your arms up high to the sky. Exhale, hands down to the ground. Inhale, half lift, lengthening the back. Exhale, inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. From here, deep breath in. 
Take a moment to really ground down into the mat before we step the leg back. Inhale to rise for crescent lunge, opening up the back, inhaling, and then exhale, rotating for our revolved crescent. Inhale, reverse revolved crescent. Exhale, taking the hands down now, we're gonna take our bound twisted lunge. Inhale, open up now again. If it's a little bit too much, you could just take a twisted lunge as normal with the elbows to the outside or maybe a half bind, whatever feels good here. Inhale and exhale. Ground the hands down, framing the foot, step in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. So same on the opposite side. Left leg back, inhale, crescent lunge. Open up the back, baby back bend. Revolved crescent lunge, inhale. And as we exhale, take the left elbow to the outside of that knee for bound crescent lunge, inhale. Remember to rotate the shoulders back so you're looking up to the sky, inhale. Push into the back toes, into the back heel. And then as you exhale, we're gonna unravel. So deep breath in and then Looking ahead, frame the foot, step back. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, let's sit back this time. Let's get a child's pose. Let's really take a moment to rest and breathe. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Continue with that breath. Take a moment to sink down into those hips. Relax the shoulders, relax the elbows, the wrists, the fingertips. Inhale now to rise, tuck the toes in. Walk your hands back along your thighs, finding a lovely little toe stretch now. Taking a moment just to settle the body to settle the mind, to appreciate all that you have done in this practice today, finding balance, challenging yourself when we wobble, overcoming those wobbles and still moving forward. If you're feeling the toes getting crampy or uncomfortable, release them at any point. Put your hands to heart centre, Finishing with one arm, inhaling. Take a moment to feel the sensation, bow your head, thanking yourself today for this practice.